Hey Sarah, this is James over at Realty Candy and you sent over these um, property these properties so we can make it into a widget. So let's take a look at these real quick. What, what I'm going to do is actually just come back over here and I'm going to make a widget um, that has those MLS numbers. Let's create a, a new one. And we're going to show a showcase on which properties we come down here to custom list and we separate them by commas so let's get that one and put that one in there looks like maybe I put a there's a space I don't know how sensitive this is to spaces but uh, let's try that And then we're going to call this test sold listings. And that order is the same. You can put them in, you know, three per column, which we'll do since there's three here. But you could also say, you know, I want two per column to make them bigger and, and stuff like that. But we're just going to put them three up. Let's build that widget and we'll preview it. And so now we can see that th this little widget is created and we can uh, just grab this uh, sc little script code and anywhere you put it, it'll show these three properties. So I'd probably put something like um, Sarah's uh, sold listings or something like that and then recently sold or something and show these properties. And so you're putting it uh, on their profile page. So um, on, on IDX broker profiles, it's a little bit tricky. Well, let's take a look and see what we can do. Um, So, um, say if we were going to put these on here, there's a page here, um, Julie, a native, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to actually hit uh, edit HTML code and I'm going to put it right there on the bottom of Julie's page. And now let's go over to um, the roster. Okay, and so here's Julie's. And then there's that. So you can see those three properties there. It looks like they may need a little bit of. Um, styling just so that um, you know maybe this fits a little bit better and you know probably everybody knows they're in New Hampshire I'd probably we could probably just put a little code snippet in there to remove the state name and then that would work and then what you could probably do here also is this is what I'm saying uh, five children helping humor in any situation yeah I have five children and so I can appreciate that so then let's put a paragraph here and put here are some of her recently sold uh, listings, even though they're, that may be a little bit of wrong phraseology, but you know, you can put whatever you want in here. We'll update that and then maybe, you know, now that we see where it's going to go, I could actually change this here. And, you know, make it something big. And, uh, and now, now it looks a little more like, you know, something like that. Of course, you don't want that phraseology, but that's, that's basically how you do it. So let me know. Let me pull that code out of there real quick. Um, 
this is the code and then I'm going to remove that and update it so we leave her like she was. <laughs> 